10, an Inglewood homeowner pays a contractor to fix his driveway, and this is the mess left behind. Giant cracks, uneven steps, and concrete completely a different color. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is live in Inglewood, where, Jen, this isn't the first time this contractor has hung customers out to dry. Jacqueline, we did a story about this same contractor ripping off homeowners in Aurora. Now he's using a different name, but doing the same kind of work. Take a look, he was paid to fix these giant cracks, and instead this is what the homeowner got. There's a kind of a pit in this stair, and this, this bottom one kind of waves out. Coulter Stark's front porch and driveway were already in bad shape. Now he says it looks even worse. It just looks like I had somebody come, come out and paint my my stairs and my sidewalk. He paid two brothers paving and concrete $1,300 to patch and seal these cracks. When they were done, Starks had some concerns, but the contractor convinced him everything was okay. They told me they needed to let, let it dry and that they would actually come back out once it was dry. They never came back. Didn't return an email, didn't return a phone call. Frustrated, Starks disputed the charge with his credit card company and brought out another contractor for a second opinion. The worst work I've ever seen. I wouldn't even say they did anything but paint it. I've never seen anything like this. 7 News found this is the same contractor who ripped off homeowners in Aurora last year. I cried for two days. I mean, I literally was sick to my stomach. They're just do shoddy, shoddy work. Back then, they were J&S paving. Then they were reliable paving and remodeling. And now they're two brothers paving and concrete. Three different names with one thing in common. Owner Anthony Pryor. They did it a year ago and they're doing it again this year. We tried reaching the contractor by phone. But no one answered. Please leave your message. Hi, my name is Jennifer Kovaleski. Just have some questions that we would like to get answered from you. For Starks, he just wants his money back and to let other people know this contractor is back in business. You know, I guess they figured a, a name change would, would kind of do the trick and, and nobody would be able to figure it out. A few days ago, the contractor reached out to Starks and offered him a refund, but he has yet to see that money. Live in Inglewood tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News. Thanks, Jennifer. We checked, and all three businesses have an F rating with the Better Business Bureau. JNS Paving's license is currently expired with the Secretary of State Office. Reliable Paving and Remodeling does have a valid one, while Two Brothers Paving and Concrete is not a licensed company in Colorado.